So finally, so after hi everyone. Hope workout, all of you are good. As all of you have seen the caption in this today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a or fingerprint based door lock. The all the materials you need is just uh, Arduino Uno or a Pro Mini or a ESP. Any one in these three. So just for tutorial video, I'm gonna use Arduino uno and a relay you which you can use 12, 12 volts also or 5 volts also it depends on your power supply and our tiny little lovely transistor i always as always bc547 bc547 transistor for switching the relay through arduino and one of the main component is our fingerprint reader and a fingerprint sensor for the door lock and one of the main thing is a solenoid lock which uh, I'm gonna show you in the end of the video so without wasting the time let's get started with the assembly part uh, many of them will get confused in the recognition of the word according but according to the Adafruit uh, database of this uh, fingerprint module the first word means the red is the VCC and the black one is the ground and the yellow one must go to the second pin of the Arduino which will declare in the program and the white one the white pin of the uh, fingerprint module must go for the third pin of the Arduino means uh, the will you use only four pins of this uh, fingerprint module the rest two wires are uh, useless for our module uh, means uh, first uh, first is the VCC second pin is the second wire is the ground third one to the third wire it may the color of the module may change the third pin of must the third pin must go for the second pin of the Arduino the fourth pin of the fingerprint module must go to the third pin of the Arduino So now let's get started with the programming part. Now in your computer just open the Arduino IDE software. So just I'm going to show you. Open the Arduino IDE software and just you need to download a sketch. Uh, just open the sketch option and then go to include library then add a manage libraries. In that manage libraries you have to download just type add a fruit or just type fingerprint f Okay, you have to search Adafruit fingerprint library, then you will get this Adafruit fingerprint sensor library which you have to install. Uh, I have already installed it just uh, for showing you people I have done. Just you have to type Adafruit fingerprint uh, finger, finger and you will get this library just you have to install. The, I have already installed. After installing you will get it here. Go, just go to examples. In examples uh, down you will get this library included in your example in that Adafruit fingerprint just you'll have enroll and the working of fingerprint just uh, for registration of your uh, um, database of fingerprint just uh, select the enroll code the enroll code will get opened and you have to just keep the code as it is here you should not do any changes in the code because already the prints are being declared and built in this fingerprint module so just you want to do is just upload the code to the Arduino board hey, you can see that the program is getting uploaded to the Arduino board the sketch has been compliant Comp uh, it's uploading you can see it's uploading yeah the program is now been uploaded to the Arduino now for uh, registering this finger 
now you have to go for the serial monitor and just uh, verify that this board is at 9600 see uh, after uh, if there is uh, any error it won't show that the fingerprint uh, fingerprint fingerprint module is found in here it will show that the fingerprint module is found for registering the fingerprint just you have to type any number from 1 to 127 in this fingerprint module you can store up to 127 fingerprints uh, for your data now as example just i'll type number 5 and uh, enter so now the program is running all you have to do is just register your uh, finger which you have to do just keep the finger see you can uh, image taken image covered we have to remove the finger and uh, place the same finger again we have to place our same finger again uh, the image will be captured and uh, you, you can enroll how many fingers uh, as much you can now example i'll take the sixth one and uh, give enter it's waiting for our command uh, i'll uh, give one of my other finger see uh, the image has been taken and uh, again we have to place it and uh, the fingerprint is been taken now the coming for the working part means the registration of our fingerprint module for the module and the Arduino is been done now the coming to the enroll part after registering our fingers now we have to come for the registration part uh, which can also be found in examples in Adafruit fingerprint sensor library and fingerprint just open this code and here you have to make some changes uh, for you people uh, if you get confusion in doing this just i have given the code in the description below just you can uh, open that uh, code and uh, you can just uh, use that you can upload the code which i have given in the description below because you have we have to make some uh, major changes in this second program which we have to upload you can just uh, download this uh, program and upload to your uh, Arduino now I am gonna upload this program for my Arduino the sketch has been complaining and the program has been uploading and the program has been uploaded successfully now just for the example uh, uh, for showing it I'll show the uh, working of it in the serial monitor you can see adapter fingerprint detected no fingerprint detected it will be detecting see this uh, so now I'm gonna show how this works this little finger of mine is not registered for this one so I'll keep my little finger it is showing did not find a match now again i'll place it is showing did not match a fine because this finger was not registered and uh, i'll place this finger which i had registered now see i'm gonna place this finger a little bit see image taken and uh, image conveyed it is showing that image conveyed and the uh, image has been detected image taken in way image found found a fingerprint match it is showing in that way now the working i'll show that uh, after detecting how it will control a solenoid wall now just i'll show how it is controlling the output i have declared the 13th pin for the controlling one now if i place the wrong finger the led won't turn on now if i place the recognized finger automatically the light would on that means our solenoid wall will get on see if i place any other finger it won't on if i place only the recognized registered finger then the solenoid wall would get on and this program is also designed so that 
if any wrong finger is detected it can indicate you easily for that i have illuminated the eighth pin of this digital one see now if i place the right finger the recognized one this led will turn now the programming part is completed now let's get started with the hardware part uh, you need a relay and a transistor for switching one a bc547 transistor by the base signal i'm gonna control this uh, relay Now this pro mini will drive this relay. After doing all the connections from the board to the relay, the relay to the solid end, just show how the working. Now this transistor will work as a switch when this base of the transistor will receive the signal through this transistor of the Arduino, it will trigger uh it will act as a switch between for this relay uh, i'll connect a ground wire for this uh, emitter bc 547s emitter and uh, when the transistor receives the signal it will act as a switch um, emitting the voltage in the collector side and the relay gets triggered once another side of the relay will be connected directly to the positive so finally after eight hours of workout Biometric based door lock system. It can be open only by the authorized person and None of the other fingers or none of the other persons can access it only the authorized finger can access the door No Only yes so guys finally after 4 hours of setup by wiring the long connection of the door and total uh, UPS setting for the door it's morning 4.30 now so you can see that when I keep my authorized finger there it, uh, it will open the solenoid lock and if I keep any unauthorized hand finger the lock won't open it, it can be only open by keeping the authorized uh, fingerprint so here you go uh, biometrical based door lock system let's lock it the door is totally locked 